Dear students, welcome to Bluepen Online. Shall we begin? Please use headset, pen and paper to take notes. Here you go. Please let's know your feedback after class. Another important habit that you must learn is tongue thrusting habit. So definition, it is defined as forward movement of the anterior tongue between the teeth to contact the lower lip during swallowing and in speech. So in figure you can see the tongue thrusting habit feature. Infantile swallow. It is characterized by tooth apart swallow where the tongue usually thrusts between the gum pads to contact the lower lip in order to achieve an anterior oral scene. So when is this infantile swallow present? This is present in uh, infant before the eruption of the teeth. So that kind of uh, swallowing is said to be the infantile swallowing. The infantile swallowing will later on goes to mature swallowing. So here in the picture, you can see the tongue will thrust between the upper and lower gum pads. Okay, here the maxillary gum pad, lower gum pad. And uh, so here the lower tongue position. The protrusion of tongue between alveolar pads will be present. Placement of tongue against the lower lip and strong lip activity is associated with nursing. Deglutation with lips apart and longer pharyngeal phase. So the clinical significance of this is it will help in sucking. So because this will give an anterior oral seal, especially while during the breastfeeding. With eruption of incisors at six months, tongue position starts to retract from anterior gum pads, shifting to adult or somatic swallowing. So from infant swallowing, it will shift to adult swallowing. It is characterized by decreased use of perioral muscles because teeth and lips are in contact and tongue remain, remains within confines of dental arches. So in case of abnormal swallow, you can see the position of the tongue. In case of abnormal swallow, the tip will be between the incisors, whereas in case of normal swallow, it will be usually placed behind the maxillary incisor. And the mid portion and the posterior aspect will be the position, the tongue will be placed on the floor of the mouth, whereas normally the tongue will lie like this. It will be here. Now, this is an abnormal position. So usually in case of uh, normal tongue position, it will form in 45 degree angle. Whereas in case of abnormal tongue position, it will not be present. And uh, your abnormal swallow is also characterized by faulty masseter activity. And there will be no molar contact during deglutition and mentalis activity will be present. Coming to the classification of tongue thrusting having, there is simple and complex. So in case of simple tongue thrusting habit, teeth together swallow, anterior open bite and posterior teeth will be stable with interdigitation, but it is associated with digit habit. In case of complex tongue thrusting habit, it is teeth apart swallow, generalized open bite will be present. So the posterior teeth also poor or closer fit and there will be contraction of lip and facial muscles. Under classification is type 1 non-deforming tongue thrust, type 2 deforming anterior thrust, type 3 is deforming lateral tongue thrust and type 4 is deforming anterior lateral tongue thrust. So in each case also there will be subgroups like anterior open bite, anterior proclination, posterior prose bite etc. Coming to the etiology behind tongue thrusting habit, one is one reason is a retained infantile swallow. We had already discussed what is infantile swallow. So this infantile swallow, which usually should shift to mature swallowing. So in case of its retention, then it can result in tongue thrusting habit. It can be also due to Incisor eruption, usually with the incisor eruption, they should be shift to the adult swallowing. But here in this case, there will not be any drop of the tongue and altered tongue posture at rest. 
in case of upper respiratory tract infection due to obstruction of nasal passage like tonsillitis allergies or mouth breathing habit or due to forward tongue posture, posture the physiologic need of adequate airway pain and decrease in amount of space which brings about a tongue twisting swallow or it can be due to adenoids because it is usually located in the nasopharyngeal area but it is considered to be normal in case of 7 to 9 year old child shrinkage occurs during vertical growth of mouth and pharynx and uh, infection allergy hypertrophy also can result in altered tongue posture